So when Alpha Investments, he opened his store, he actually understood something that I didn't understand when I opened my store. And I questioned why was he showing up? I mean, I don't know if you guys remember, but he tried to do the day, the car shop life from Dariums. He really enjoyed Darium, so he was gonna do that, but he never had any customers to my knowledge. I mean, he actually had people uh, send him letters and then he would pin the letter up and kind of like almost like he was trying to get customers But to my understanding is there's never been any FNMs. There's never been any buddy fight There's never been any organized events at the Alpha Investments game store And I felt that was very strange because I thought one of the reasons that you have a store was to run these organized events that supposedly would be extremely profitable to you So why so the question is very simple like why have a store when you're not going to use a room indie store for organized play. Uh, and I think that was one of my biggest um, misunderstandings in running a store, how a store actually operates. My store is basically open one, I mean, we're open whenever I want to be open or whenever there's a deal. I'm working a deal right now for a bunch of anime figures. Uh, so I, I mean, if I don't have a store, it would be a lot easier if I had a store. I gave them the address of the store and we met at a certain time and we did the deal. And then there's a safe in the store, uh, you know, a really heavy safe, uh, half a ton safe or something like that. And it, and then you keep all the things in, in the safe until it's time to you know pay them out or it's time to get the card or it's time to sell them the card. So that's what a store is meant to do. Organized play means, and there, there's a reason Rudy did not do organized play. I did not know what it was at the time, but now I know. Organized play is a loser. Uh, and a lot of people will make these fake numbers up and stuff like that. And they were like, oh, well, what about the time that the guy buys a water bottle? Yeah, great, he bought a bottle of water. That was a dollar. Uh, it maybe costs you 33 cents a stock and now you're up, uh, you know, you're up 67 cents. You know, the electricity, the air conditioning, I live in Houston, so the, air, the electricity cost due to air conditioning is incredibly high um, during the summer times, especially when we're very humid and people coming in and out. So it's not like your home, right? People think, oh, it's like a home. No, a store, people are constantly coming in and out, in and out. So the air conditioning is double what you would expect a home because a home can retain the coolness, right? Um, and when you get a plumbing, when somebody breaks your toilet, you understand that's a $400, $500 fix depending on what it is. And you know, when someone steals from you, you know, I have a lot of videos of people stealing and they tend to be teenagers or smaller kids. Uh, and obviously, you know, those are the type of videos I can't publish on YouTube, but you know, I do publish some funny, when I was at a store, I did pu publish some videos about people stealing. It's not easy. You don't actually want a bunch of people in your store. You know, it, it, that's not a good thing. So the whole idea of Rudy had, Rudy was correct. Your store should just be a place for you to interact business with that's not your home. Because obviously your home is very dangerous. So you would say, hey, let's do this deal at the store. Deal will be done at the store, um, and then once it's done, close up shop, and you know you pay the guy out or the guy pays you out, depending on which way the deal is being done. So that was the main my 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 understanding of this completely changed when I ran the numbers. My first store, I did organize events. We did Pokemon, we did Magic, we did Commander Knights, and we had you know ten solid people. Sometimes we'd have 20, somebody's girlfriend would come, somebody's group of friends, or, you know, hey, these guys from college came down uh, to visit. But we never made any money from it, and they always damaged my image. I, I always talk about this with the Cheeto hands, and people think it's kind of ludicrous, but that was a $1,200 anime figure. And it, it's... I don't think I ever made $1,200 running one event, EDH or otherwise, because... The prize support, at least where I live, people expect double prize support or they at least expect if they pay $5 for Friday Night Magic, they expect $5 of store credit at the very least. Many times they expect the cash back, many times, you know, so they've been playing there for five, six hours and the store has only made 67 cents from a drink 
or they've made a little bit of money from them buying a cookie or something. And a lot of people in, at my store, at least, they would bring outside food from the Popeyes or from the uh, Ale House Tavern and so on at the store. And of course, they would not never clean up after themselves. Like it's a very defeating thing when it's late. You finally are able to kick up that random commander group that refuses to go home. And then you realize that I have to clean my store for the next half hour because it's just trashed. No, no one cleans up after themselves. The tables have Cheetos on them. Your anime figures have Cheeto prints on them. It's just very, very upsetting. Um, so I have, I, I'm going to have a new store. I've already talked to all my subscribers or my former subscribers and uh, the new store will only have two purposes. It is to give, do the giveaway to my subscribers and the way I explained it, I already explained it a million times, but I'm not gonna explain it anymore because I cannot, I can't, this is too frustrating. Um, and then also, you know, if I do a big collection deal or, or buy or sell, I will have a physical place. Because right now, a lot of really nice collections have come across, but I'm not able, it, it would be so much easier for me to have a location because I don't want to do it in my home and Chase is not open on Saturdays. Chase is not open on Sundays and they're not, they're also not open late at night. So they all, I mean, it's hard to do a weekday. A lot of these collections are coming from people who have obviously jobs. So you can't really ask them, hey, can you come at 2 p.m. to this chase? They're, they're gonna say no. And then I only have that chase where I live. So it's not like any chase, right? Would let me sit there and look at the collection for two hours. And my chase will let me do that because my business is with them and I'm my uh, chase advisor is at that chase. So he'll, he'll approve it or, you know, at the very least they won't kick me out because they know who I am. If I go to a different chase, they don't know who I am. So they, they'll kick me out. Yeah, I had that, I had that happen at the one near the payways, the, uh, the Chinese restaurant. <laughs> so I was so upset that I didn't even eat Chinese food that day. That's how upset I was. Hi <laughs> guys.